I'm Jack Powell. I'm performing my new song, I Want to Make You Mine, with Grant Owens. We found new music, baby. I want to find out if you're hiding any birthmarks I want to find out where your legs end and your love starts I want to make your eyes roll back, way back into your head I want to make you say my name again and again I want to make you On the bathroom mat, face cold on a towel, still hot. I wanna make you mine. I wanna take a bite. I wanna make you mine. Is that such a crime? I wanna make you mine. Cause you're so Grant Owens here on WFNM Radio. We are joined by Jack Powell. Hello. The debut single, Out Now, titled... I Want to Make You Mine. And you just played that for us. I did. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah. We are, we are privileged and honored to have you here in the very beginning of this rollout of music. And that is I Want to Make You Mine, Out Now. Is that like kind of the beginning of a rollout of music for you? It is, yeah. So at the moment, what the plan that we have right now is to drop music every six months. We got an EP at the very end of the year. Still okay. working on the name for that, so I don't want to give too much away about that EP. But yeah, regarding this music, um, new stuff every six weeks for the rest of this year. Potentially trying to drop every month for the next of next year as well. Okay, cool. So who is Jack Powell? Jack Powell is a 21-year-old musician from South Carolina, uh, and honestly, the goal is just to be heard. Mm hmm. And what was life like growing up? I was fortunate enough to have a really comfortable life. Um, as far as, you know, by the time I got into middle school, that's really whenever I started to get into making music. Um, growing up in the South, it was a little bit okay. difficult to be able to make music and to be able to more so be myself because a lot of people had a really hard time understanding. I feel like for a lot of people, especially in the South, you're kind of raised to follow the norm kind of stay in line and for somebody to kind of go out and not do that it was a little bit uncomfortable and a lot of people just really didn't like that I feel like they would treat me different and that was a big reason as to why I didn't really have a lot of friends growing up and that's hmm. why I turned to music I feel like that just really kind of shaped who I am as a person for sure all right cool so this is meant to happen you creating music and, and rolling it out and, mm -hmm. and then you found some people that you're working with now to to bring the con the project to reality absolutely 100 percent. shout out jack leach noah taylor uh the whole team it's a uh, it's very strong and and i appreciate everything that everybody has done for me it's it's more than i could have ever honestly imagined i'm very thankful for them awesome awesome so yeah the music is your passion now yeah cool absolutely 100 cool. percent. i couldn't see myself doing anything else mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you listen to your own music a lot too honestly i feel like <laughs> i listen to my music so much and the reason as to why i feel like is if i can't enjoy my music how could anybody else i'm really trying to build something strong and really have a, a, a base that really understands and, mm -hmm. and that enjoys what I'm trying to do. I just feel like if I'm not able to do that, I don't, I don't see how anybody else would be able to follow. 
for sure. And so you want to build a loyal fan base. One hundred percent. And what would you call your fans? As far as calling them fans, I feel like for me personally, I've always found that whenever people call their fans fans, it's a little bit, it almost establishes a hierarchy in my mind. I just feel like it's almost a little bit disrespectful in a way, so I would just call them my supporters. Your supporters? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. I almost just want to build a, a base that everybody supports what they have going on regardless of what they're doing, and obviously including myself, and really just be able to, to build a family on top of that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's really close to you. Everything that you're building right now, it's very much. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. like I said, I, I really I couldn't see myself doing anything else. So what things have influenced or made the biggest impact on your music and artistry? A lot of music, for sure. Um, I've listened to, I feel like, so many people. I feel like, for the most part, uh, Mac Miller is a huge influence for me. Uh, the second that I found his music, I feel like it just shaped wow. everything almost for me. It really just, I, I was really technical with how I would do stuff. I would take even more time on the producing side and on the writing side, especially on the recording side, really just trying to perfect my craft. And I, I use a lot of these, um, these tips anytime that I'm making music, anytime that I, I find somebody that I really enjoy. I always try to take a little, you know, bits and pieces of what I like and try to portray that into my music if that makes sense definitely yeah all right well thank you so much jack powell for joining us and i want to make you mine out now stay close to the socials and the rollout of music is coming out all this year Lovely. so this is just the beginning jack it powell is. thank you for joining us on we found new music thank you for having me